Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA. You got me, Miss McCarthy here. We are moving on to lesson 12 today, and our standard is maths.5. NF stands for fractions. 2.5 today. We are multiplying fractions by scaling and resizing. And really, not too hard of a lesson once you know your tips. So everybody take a note of these tips. You may want to write them down. So pause the video. Just kidding, you didn't pause the video. But you need to pause the video. Write down these tips, but let me go over the tips real quick. It says when you multiply a number by, and there's three examples here. When you multiply a number, let's say the number was five. If you were to multiply the number five by a fraction less than one, like one half, the product that you would get would be less than five. If you were to take five and multiply it by a fraction equal to one, so for instance, I don't know what this is, it's like a Chinese character or something. Okay, if you were to multiply a number like five, by a number that is equal to one, a fraction that's equal to one, you would get five times one, which would be five. It'd be the same number. The product would be equal to the number. And finally, if you were to multiply a number like five by a fraction that is greater than one, let's say like three halves, and we know that's greater because our numerator is greater than the denominator, then your product over here would be greater than your original original number five. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Let me teach ya. Hey, example one. Two authors are comparing their sales from last year. I'm a writer, sold 65,000, let me write it down, 65,765 copies. That's Ima. And who's the best? Sold 65,765 times, times one half of his book. Which statement compares the number of book copies sold? Okay, <clears throat> A says, I am a writer sold half of the number of book copies that Who's the Best sold. No, because who's the best sold half of the number of copies that I must sold. That's not right. Who's the best? <laughs> I love that name. Who's the best sold half the number of book copies that I'm a writer sold? Yes, that makes sense. He sold half, and we learned in the last episode that the X for multiplication really means of two. So half of what I must sold. Who's the best sold twice the number of book copies that I'm a writer sold? No, he sold half of, not twice. Twice would be two times. And I'm a writer sold the same number of book copies that Who's the best sold? No, they didn't because he sold half of the amount that she did. Now, did I have to solve this out? No. I just had to understand what the product would be by multiplying by fractions. And who's the best sold half of it, which means that his product would be less. So now that I've done all the work, don't forget to mark your answer. B. Example two. And for example two, I have a shout out to Miss Philpo's class. What is up, Miss Philpo's class? You guys are rocking it in fourth grade. Sorry I couldn't get you into a fourth grade problem, but I got you into a fifth grade problem. And from Miss Philpo's class, we have Christina and Anthony today. Two YouTubers who have been um, writing comments that they're learning and using these videos. So here you go, guys. This is for you. And it's for you, fifth graders, to help you learn how to pass the math FSA. Okay, example two. Two friends in Miss Philpo's class are comparing pages read this year. Christina read 23,958. That'd be what Christina read. Anthony read one and a half times as many pages. So let's break that down into numbers and symbols. Anthony read one 
and a half times as many pages as Christina. And Christina read 23,958 pages. Which expression describes the number of pages that Anthony read? So, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm taking this, and I'm noticing that in all of these, the 23,958 comes first. And that's okay. Because of the commutative property of multiplication, we can actually switch the order of the factors. So, I could write it like this, times one and a half, and if I did that, then it would look like not A, because A only has one half, B is dividing by one half. Here we go, this one looks good, and we are not dividing by one and a half, so C looks exactly like what I wrote down here. C is your answer. Example three, and folks, this is where our tips are really gonna come into play right now. So before we were just understanding how to read certain expressions and translate that into a statement. Now we're actually gonna use the tips that I provided, so here we go. Select all, that means it's multi-select. Select all the expressions that have a value less than 1,773. Okay, so we want, this is gonna be our product. So we're saying, which one of these statements, expressions, I'm sorry, would be less than this product over here, okay? So that means we need to take our number and multiply by a fraction that's less than one if we want it to be less than that, okay? So let's look for fractions that are less than one. So 1,773 times 3 fourths. 3 fourths is a fraction that is less than one. So this would be an answer. 1,773 times four and three-fourths. Well, that four is a whole number, and that four means it's greater than one, so no. 1,773 times 13. 13 is greater than one. We want something that's less than. 1,773 times five. Five, again, is a whole number. It's greater than one. We can eliminate that. 1,773 times one-half. One-half is a fraction that is less than one, so this would work. When we multiply those two numbers together, we would get a product that is less than the one here. 1,773 times nine-eighths. Careful, because it looks like a fraction, but our numerator is greater. And when that happens, the fraction is greater than one. So that will not be the answer. So just the first and the fifth one are the correct answers. Remember for multi-select, you must check all of the correct answers in order to get the point. Example four, select all the numbers that Joshua could multiply by 4,000, I can't read it, 43,217 to get a product that is 1,000. 217. So 43, here's what I'm looking for. 43,217 times what, which one of these, will get me a product that is less than 43,217. Okay, so I know that to get a product that is less than, I need to multiply by a fraction that is less than one according to my tips. So which number can I plug in there? Well, if I multiply by five, that's greater than one. Eight fourths is eight divided by four, which equals two, which is a fraction that is greater than one, okay? We also know that because our numerator is greater than our denominator, so that is not gonna be right. Two ninths, well now we have our numerator is less than our denominator, so this would work because it's a fraction that's less than one. Six sixths equals one. So if we plug that in, we would get the same product, not less than, so that's not right. One and three eighths. Although the three eighths is a fraction less than one, 
When you mix it with that whole number of a one, it becomes a fraction that is greater than one. So no, that is not gonna work. Four sixths, four is our numerator, six is our denominator, four is less, so that would be a fraction less than one. So our third and our sixth choice would work for this problem. Easy peasy, I told ya. Last one, whoop whoop, last one. Okay, an expression is shown below. 345,678 times 2 and 2 thirds. Let me write that down. Apparently I can't write correctly or read correctly because I just wrote down 6 and that's not what starts the number. Earth the Miss McCarthy, wake it up. All right, that's what I see. I'm just making it a little bit bigger for you. Okay, so if I were to multiply these, this says, Describe if the product, that means I'm multiplying, would be less than, greater than, or equal to 345,678 without multiplying. It's like I'm a magician or something. Explain your reasoning. Okay, <clears throat> so it goes right back to the tips. Here's our number, but what are we multiplying it by? We are multiplying by a mixed number and a mixed number is a fraction greater than one. So when I multiply this big number times a fraction that is greater than one, the product will be greater. So here's what I'm going to write. The, do I have to solve it? No, I just have to answer what the question is asking me to do. Describe if the product would be less than, greater than, or equal to. The product would be greater than 345,678 because you I should probably say it. It is being multiplied by a a fraction greater than one, period. Don't forget your capital letters to start a sentence. Don't forget to answer it completely. Don't forget your period, people. You're in fifth grade now. Come on. Come on. All right, everybody out there practicing their math skills, sharpening them. Before you go, you know that I have to leave you with a motivational message. So here it is. When you really want to accomplish something, give it all you've got. Give it all you've got. And then, when you think that you've given everything, give more, okay? There's something inside of you, like, Let's think about something that you would like to accomplish. Let's say that you're trying to, to master everything that you can to be prepared for the math FSA that's coming your way soon, okay? When you want something, go after it. Well, here you've been given a tool to practice and practice and practice. And really, passing the math FSA means that you have mastered what you need to know in fifth grade. So. That means that you are studying these videos not only in class, but at home. And when you think that you've given everything you've got and you're so tired, you're ready to be done with it, dig deep and give a little bit more. Same thing with training for like a race, a marathon or something. Go further, go one step further, give a little bit more. Once you wanna give up, find that person inside of you, pull them out and give just a little bit more. That is how you make things happen. Y'all are awesome. I will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. I'll see you later.